Okay, so hi there folks. In this next video in number theory, we're still in our module 2, divisibility theory and the fundamental theory of arithmetic, we're going to talk about a very important principle or say um, an idea in mathematics or in the pure mathematics itself. So we have the pigeonhole principle, also called as the Dirichlet box principle. So this um, principle, okay, is also known as the Richelieu box principle, like I said, because it was um, after the German mathematician Gustav Peter Lejeune Dirichlet, I'm, I'm not sure if I have pronounced it correctly, who used it extensively in his work on number theory. It can be applied to a variety of situations, actually. So what is the main idea here? So suppose we have m pigeons. This is a number. Um, they fly into n number of pigeonholes. Um, where they are going to roost, where m, the number of pigeons, is greater than the number of pigeonholes, n. Now, what is your conclusion? So, because there are more pigeons than pigeonholes, so, therefore, there is at least two pigeons, okay, must, uh, at least two pigeons must be in the same pigeonhole, because there are more pigeons than the pigeonholes themselves, right? So, therefore, at least two pigeons must be in the same pigeonhole. Pigeonhole. In other words, we can say that there must be okay, there must be a pigeonhole containing two or more pigeons. Okay? So there must be one pigeonhole containing two or more pigeons because there are more pigeons than pigeonholes. Now, to state that formally, and let's have a, a proof of this in a very simple version of the pigeonhole principle. So in formal so let's say um, theorem theorem let's this is called the pigeonhole principle the pigeonhole principle okay so what does it say if m pigeons if m pigeons are assigned to n pigeonholes are assigned to n pigeonholes where the number of pigeons is strictly greater than the number of pigeonholes then we say at least Two pigeons must occupy the same pigeonhole. Okay, so let's have a simple proof of this. Okay, and then we're going to prove this by contradiction. So let's make use of another different color. Okay, for the proof. So we're going to use by contradiction. By contradiction or proof by contradiction so what are we going to do so suppose the conclusion is false so that at least two pigeonholes must occupy the same pigeonhole so or at least two pigeons rather must occupy the same pigeonhole so for example this is false so that is that no two pigeons occupy the same two pigeonholes so suppose no two pigeons occupy the same pigeonhole. So if that's the case, so therefore then we can conclude that every pigeon Every pigeon, oops, every pigeon must occupy a distinct pigeonhole. Must occupy a distinct, okay? Meaning they have their own pigeonholes for themselves, for their own selves. Distinct pigeonhole. So if we have that, if all of the pigeons have distinct pigeonholes or they occupy distinct pigeonholes so we can say that the number of pigeonholes 
is greater than or equal to the number of pigeons because all of the pigeons occupy a distinct pigeon hole. So you should have that the number of pigeons, okay? Or rather, yeah, the number of pigeons is less than or equal to the number of pigeon holes. So meaning the number of pigeon holes are greater than or equal to the number of pigeons we have, which is a contradiction. Which is a condition. Okay, so thus, since this is a contradiction that n is greater than or equal to m, because we have said that m is strictly greater than n by the pigeonhole principle, so this is a contradiction. So thus, we can conclude thus. Um, two or more pigeons must occupy some pigeonhole. So two or more. Um, let's put that in words. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thus, two or more pigeons must occupy some pigeonhole because... Um, this is false. This cannot be done. This is a contradiction. So therefore, we must agree that the pigeonhole principle holds. So that's it for this video. My laptop is kind of lagging now. So yeah, so I will try to fix this when I will publish a video. And yeah, so this is the best time to end the video now. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you would like and subscribe. Okay, see ya.